boys and girls. It's so nice to see all of you. Mrs. Sears here with a lesson on how to create a digital Valentine's Day card. Now, with this year kind of being a little bit odd, I think this is super cool because you can digitally pass out all of your Valentine's Day cards through your email and they're going to look great. And you know I like it because I love art and I love the digital design process. So this is like perfect for me and I think it's going to be perfect for you. The first thing that you need to do is access your Google Drawing. Now to do that, you're going to want to open up a tab and you're going to go find that waffle in Google Chrome and you are going to select your Google Drive with the triangle, the little blue, green, yellow, and red one. Find that drive and then you're going to open it. Now I also suggest if you're following along with me to open a second screen so that you could actually digitally draw your Valentine and listen to me. Then you can kind of go back and forth and you can pause the video, rewind the video if you miss something, and rewatch it so you don't miss anything or change something or whatever you need to do. So that's my suggestion to you is to open those split screens. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to New and you're going to go down to More. They have this super hidden. Then you're going to select Google Drawings. Now when Google Drawings pops up, it's going to give you a standard template. And those check boxes just means that it's, it's a blank uh, area to draw. Now I know that you could do many other drawing programs and some of you are very talented when it comes to digital drawing. What I like about Google Drawings, as you'll see, is that this is the easiest way and most accessible way to share to all of the people in our community with that at Amherst K-12 extension. Now the first thing is always you want to title your drawing. So I'm going to title my drawing Amanda Sears Valentine's Day card. And then if you like, there's probably only going to be one Amanda in my class, but so if you don't have to put your last name or however your teacher has you do it. So you know best if you should put your first and last name, just your last name or your first name, but make sure it's identifiable and who the card is because when you send it, it's going to come through your friend's emails as Amanda Sears Valentine's Day card. So instead of physically putting it into a Valentine's envelope, they're going to actually open up that piece of mail from their email, which I think is pretty neat. Okay, now a traditional Valentine's Day card is, if you kind of remember, they're like vertical or horizontal and they have like cute font and pictures, so that's what we're going to do. So the first thing we're going to do is change the size. I want to make it more of like a rectangle shape. So I'm going to go into File and I'm going to go into Page Setup. That's not what I wanted. That tricked me. I'm going to go to File, Page Setup, and I'm going to, instead of Standard, I'm going to do Custom. Now again, this is your Valentine's Day card, so if you want to make it a different size or you have a different thought in mind, um, go ahead and do that. But I'm going to make mine a rectangle uh, 4 by 2 Now you can see it's more of that traditional Valentine's Day card. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to change the background color. Now to change the background color, you are going to right click on the actual screen. So I'm going to hold down control and then click and I'm going to go to background and I'm going to select kind of this blush pink which kind of reminds me of Valentine's Day card. Now I know sometimes that you know you don't have to pick pink. Valentine's Day cards can come in any shape or size or whatever color you want but the idea is just to kind of recognize a friend on February 14th and tell them how they mean to you or just you know thank you for being my friend. So that's kind of the route we're going to go. Now, one of my favorite things about Google Drawing is the word art. So we're going to start with that. Do not use a text box with a Valentine's card or any type of digital design. It just looks clunky. It looks more like a document. And we're not making a document. We're making a very pretty piece of art. So we're going to go into Insert. And we're going to go to Word Art. I love Word Art. And I'm just going to start with Happy Valentine's. Day. And I'm going to even put an exclamation point. And again, if you need some more time to type, pause my video until you type out what you need and go ahead and do that. So as soon as I press return or enter, you're going to see that defaults it into this kind of light blue color and the default font. To change this, I can change the font. I want to find something kind of... I don't Let's try this one. 
Oh, that's pretty. Let's try that one. And I'm going to change the color. So I don't want that light blue. It defaults always to that blue color. I think I'm going to do more of this like burgundy. Yeah, I like that. And then to make it bigger, I can actually just drag this around. And then you can also like turn your text. So if I wanted it to go like diagonal, I could do that. That looks kind of neat. I'll do that. And then I can even change the outline. So if I didn't want the outline black, I could even change the outline to like light purple. Oh, I don't know. I can't, maybe I like the black. I'm going to leave the black. But you can change it to whatever you want. Now from here, you can get a little bit more creative. Uh, my suggestion would be to insert an image from here. Uh, but you also have the ability of drawing shapes. So let's say I wanted to put... I think you know where I'm going with this. They have to have a heart on here. Of course they have a heart. I'm going to make a pretty little heart here. And I think I'm going to fill this in. Maybe a lighter version of that burgundy. But I'm also going to keep the same black outline. And then I think I'm actually going to put a couple more floating hearts around. And then if you want to get really creative, you could do like an arrow through the heart, like a cupid. Um, I'm going to do another heart. And I'm just going to make all different kinds of sizes, like little hearts all around. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted the shape. So I'm going back to my shape. I keep losing the heart. Oh, I forgot to click it. See, even Mrs. Sears makes mistakes. To go back to my shape, find the heart again, and I think that's going to be it. Oh, look at that. i got to go back and fix the color. Okay, so so far this is what I have right now, which I actually think is pretty cool. Um, but you can even go a step further. This is your line tool, so if you want to actually like free draw anything, that would be your scribble. You can do any type of shape that you want call outs if you want to do call outs and then you have text box too so if you wanted to type like a specific message below but I'll show you what I'm going to do I'm not going to use a text box I just really like the way that the um, insert word out looks but I also want to show you if you wanted to insert an image you can insert an image and search the web or you can upload from your computer I'm going to show you how to do both so I'm going to search the web and I'm going to actually search for one time that Valentine's Day and when I find pictures oh and I was gonna look for Valentine's Day transparent now when you search for something that's transparent it doesn't give you that square background that kind of looks clunky it gives you just pretty pictures without the background square and look at how cool they have hmm. I don't know. There's so many pretty ones. See, look, this looks like a traditional Valentine's Day card. See? Oh, I like this. I'm going to do this one. So once I select it, I can select Insert. And, oh, that looks really big. So I'm going to format that to shrink. But do you see how it doesn't have the background? I like that. I'm going to move my heart. So this kind of fits around here. And that's kind of my working right now for my Valentine's card. But do you remember how you would have to, like, put everybody's name? And I remember this, too. Like, you almost want to practice writing people's names. It's good practice, right? Um, unfortunately, you probably don't want to put two to anyone because I'll show you how to send it. But what I would do is I'm going to do insert word art again. And, and again, please take your time on this, and I know you're going to spend much more time. But I might say, like, from Mrs. Sears. And I'm going to drop that in, and I'm going to change that to an even darker burgundy, and I'm going to change this to a different font so that people know that this one is from me. And I'm going to tuck this down here. And now, I know this isn't finished. I mean, I would keep kind of working around it and maybe, maybe making like little um, pops of color in different places. But this is a great way for you to work on your digital drawing. Now, when you're ready to share this, and this is where the teachers will come in, you're going to have to have all of your friends' email addresses. But what else is nice about this, as long as you have a list of your friends' names, you can go into share 
So that's one way. Or what I like to do is I like to go into my email and then attach this from my drive. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to open a new tab. This is done. I'm going to open a new tab. I'm going to go into my mail. I am going to go into Compose. And your teacher also might have you turn it in a Google Classroom. I, but this is a better way because then you're actually delivering mail to everybody. So if I go into Compose, it's taking its beautiful time, of course. <laughs> we'll just wait for it. Come on. Oh, there it is. Okay. So it's in Compose. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. And I'm going to start to address my invitation. So depending on whose name it is, let's say I'm going to write this to uh, Miss Lee in third grade. Watch, when I start typing her last name, I can actually just now click on her email. And then I can go down, let's say my teacher is Miss Brock. I can type in Brock. And look, she pops right up. So you would do that for your whole list of friends plus your teachers. And then down in your subject, you would say, oh, Amanda Sears Valentine's card. And then you could even write something to your friend like, please take a look at my Valentine's card for you. And I'm going to make sure I capitalize Valentine. And I capitalize card too. And then watch. Now to attach this Google Drawing, I have to go down at the bottom and go to my drive where it says insert something from my drive. Then I open my drive and I go to recent and I'm hoping and it should be my first recent project is look my Valentine's Day card. So I can click on that and click insert and look my Valentine's Day card is right attached to my uh, email. Now the other thing that you want to be careful with when you send this, it's going to say, watch what it says, when I go click send, it's going to say, do you want to share that Valentine with these people? Do you see where it says view here? Make sure you select view. You don't want them to have any editing, okay? So then you just make sure you select okay, and then you click send, and then guess what? Your Valentine's Day card will show up in every single person's mailbox. And it'll be fun for you, too, to go back through your email and open up each other's Valentine's Day cards, and you can see all the sweet Valentine's Day messages from your friends. So I hope you have fun. Feel free to include Mrs. Sears on your Valentine's Day card because I would love, 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 love to see what you come up with. All right. So happy Valentine's Day. Take care, everybody. And I will see you or talk to you soon. Take care, kiddos.